Well, good afternoon and welcome to Overdivest Nurseries. It's a beautiful day in early summer. There's a little bit of sun creeping out now between the clouds and there's a breeze blowing, but you know what? It's a nice temperature to be out here and especially to get the opportunity to introduce you to some fantastic plants that you can grow right here in this region. All sorts of interesting trees and shrubs and perennials and vines and native plants too. And if you haven't already, can I suggest that you think about clicking and subscribing to our channel because we're busy posting new videos all the time on hopefully lots of interesting things that you will be able to find out about and hopefully information that will be helpful as well. And if you like what you're seeing, it would be nice if you could kindly click the like button too, because then that will help other people find out about the information as well. Lots of interesting things as you see. And right here in front of me on this wagon is an absolutely gorgeous little hybrid skullcap that just takes your breath away. This is Scutellaria Appalachian Blues. It's a hybrid that was developed in West Virginia by a well-known native plant collector there, Peter Hoos. Peter has a tremendous knowledge of local native plants. And this is one that I have to say, I take my hat off to, because in my book, this is absolutely gorgeous. What's more, it's short and compact, only growing about 15, 18 inches, two foot high at its most and unlike one of its parents this makes a tidy clump it doesn't run in the ground add to that the fact that it starts flowering now in early summer and then will continue for a very long time in fact up to eight weeks or more and if you go through and trim off some of the old flowers when they're starting to go over, you might even encourage some young fresh growth that will come and give you a little burst of color going into the autumn time too. Hardy to zone five and attracting things like butterflies and pollinating insects and wait for it, not normally bothered by the likes of deer and rabbits, this is really a terrific plant that I hope you get a chance to grow somewhere in your garden. Now, you could grow this as a single individual plant. I would suggest if you have the space that you think about planting a nice big bold clump of them somewhere. And it would be a wonderful plant to put in, say, on the edges of shady borders. Be lovely in a woodland garden and what's also neat, and I nearly forgot to mention, is that this is a plant that is so adaptable, it will grow in sunny locations, in partially shaded conditions, and in shady conditions too, which is where I was going when I was talking about woodland conditions. But what's neat about it also is that it is easy to grow in virtually any well-drained site, and it's important that the soil is free draining. But it's also important, I would suggest, when you think about planting this, that you work in plenty of organic matter. Because this is really kind of a woodland dweller that I think will do very well when there's lots of good organic humus matter worked into the soil. The roots will get out into that, they'll love it, and you'll find then that you'll get plenty of this nice luxuriant growth, which incidentally often takes on purplish tinges to the foliage too. What's really nice about it is that it will grow either as a single individual plant or as I mentioned earlier you could put this into larger clumps. You might even be able to use this as a neat little plant to put into containers as well. So all in all an excellent introduction that's part of our hand-picked for you first look collection it was introduced in 2022 by our friends at Plants Nouveau, and I think while it's a new and relatively unknown plant at this stage, it is destined to become very popular, much adored, and highly valued. 
This is Scuttle Area Appalachian Blues.